On September 26, 1983, the Soviet Union's early warning system detected a barrage of U.S. nuclear missiles appeared to be incoming. Protocol dictated a swift and devastating counterattack. But one man, duty officer Stanislav Petrov, chose to wait. He disobeyed the orders, trusted his instinct and not the machine. And his judgment stopped what could have been an all-out nuclear war and most likely the end of the world. Now fast forward to today. In China, researchers at the China Institute of Atomic Energy have manufactured an AI system that claims to verify nuclear warheads with pinpoint accuracy. According to a peer-reviewed study, this technology uses deep learning to distinguish actual warheads from decoys without revealing the weapon's internal design. The Chinese scientists say it could redefine arms control verification and support their position in global disarmament talks. While this AI model claims to eliminate deception, it introduces a new kind of risk, technological overconfidence. But before we get there, what's this AI system all about? The AI system relies on a multiple stage procedure combining cryptography and nuclear physics. During this procedure, researchers generate millions of virtual nuclear components with some containing weapons-grade uranium and others with uh, lead-enriched materials. The deep learning network it puts forth high accuracy in distinguishing real warheads from the fake ones. The study also revealed that it could reduce the odds of deception to almost zero. The AI system's linchpin lies in its ability to verify chain reaction capability without exposing the warhead's design details. But here's the catch. The AI system did all these calculations based entirely on machine interpretation. And what if it's wrong? What if there are glitches? The researchers themselves conceded that the AI system also suffers from multiple drawbacks, pointing out that excessive dependence on electronic systems, it further creates vulnerabilities. So what if, like in 1983, the system detects a nuclear attack, but this time there's no human to question it? Because sometimes survival can depend not just on technology, but purely on human intelligence.